Good morning, commissioners. Uh, today, I'm, I come here asking for your help, but uh, first, a little backstory. I think we all remember the Challenger explosion that took place in 1986 that tragically took the lives of all seven astronauts on board. It launched not too far from where we're standing here today. Well, the interesting thing is, a couple decades later, this thing called the Internet came about, and someone allegedly found almost all of those astronauts alive and well, many using the same exact names. As you can see here, we have Challenger astronaut Judith Resnick and also a Judith Resnick Yale Law professor. Michael J. Smith, the pilot of the Challenger astronaut and also professor at University of Wisconsin, now retired Michael J. Smith. Commander Dick Scobie, who is now president of Cows and Trees. Now, if you'll notice, they all have the exact same faces 30 some odd years later, the same exact name, and they are the same age. Now, we all have a doppelganger out there, right? No big deal. But to have the same face, the same age, and the same exact name is extremely rare. So rare I could only find one case in the last 120 years. And we're supposed to believe that three people from one space flight, space flight have exact lookalikes that have the same age and same exact names. This, ladies and gentlemen, is beyond statistically impossible. Ms. Resnick was questioned at Yale by a journalist, and she panicked and ran from the camera. Why? Mr. Michael J. Smith was also questioned, and he said, yeah, we look alike, but that's not me. You can see both of these exchanges in a film called Level With Me, and you can be the judge. Mr. Sir, I'm going to I'm has, gonna, I'm gonna have to stop. Sir, this is a public comment. I, I know what it is, sir. I'm very familiar with the public comment. Okay. And part of the public comment is, is that you're only allowed to address things that we have jurisdiction over. We have no I have a direct request at the end of this that, that is in your purview, sir, sir please. Hi. Hi. I do. Can we hold the time, please? Just, I have a direct just, request that... Just Do, listen to me okay. very carefully. Mr. Richardson, would you give an opinion in regards to this, please? Yes, public comment is reserved for issues or topics that are under the jurisdiction or control of the county commission or that are relevant to the business of the county commission. So if your request at the end is going to explain why that falls into any of this, make that request now before you continue. Absolutely. So as I was saying, uh, I'll just end it with what I was ending with. But the ask is that uh, Ms. Pritchett, who knows very well about questioning science, whether it be COVID or fluoride, I'm just asking you all to question the science here. Your uh, Goodson and Pritchett, your district covers the Kennedy Space Center. This launched from the Kennedy Space Center. You have the ability to help me in sounding the alarm and asking the federal government for help. If this is contained in your area, I should be able to at least address something that happened here. Don't you agree? That's not within the jurisdiction or authority of the County Commission. Thank you very much. Will you let me finish for at least no, 10 sir, seconds? No, sir, you're finished. Thank you. Thank you for uh, taking away my freedom of speech today in here. I did not take away your freedom of speech. There's a yes, you did. I don't want to hear it from you just people down here. Just because this is an uncomfortable Stop. topic. Stop. Officers, please remove this man from the room. You just violated the First Amendment. I didn't violate the First Amendment. No, he you didn't. violated the this rules. This is a limited public There's forum, and the meeting is for the purpose of the business of the county commission. It's not for this purpose. Thank now, if you, you want to go, if you want to go to take him out too. Officer, take him out also. Let's just, everyone just calm down. They can leave willingly. Wow. No, we're leaving willingly. You don't have to remove us. You just made a decision about NASA. Because you're NASA making your decisions. Not our jurisdiction, sir. All right. well, you violated the First Amendment already. Thank you very much for your opinion. Yeah, maybe check reading it out again. These astronauts are alive, by the way. Look it up. You can't have three doppelgangers. You can't. Same face, same name, same age. It's impossible. Look it up. Statistically impossible. On point behavioral centers right down the street. That's where I suggest you go. Just because you think this is a mental problem, I should still be able to talk. It's your opinion, sir. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Thanks again. Yeah, y'all have a good one. All right, take care. Thanks. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted and my First Amendment was violated during a public comment period here in Brevard County, yeah. I was saying that Mr. Yeah. Scobie yeah. Is, is the most interesting because not only does he have the same age, same face, same name, same slanted eye in the cheek if you look very closely, get this, he created a company called Cows and Trees and the promo video has a cow blasting off strapped to a rocket, leaving a smoke trail eerily similar to that of the Challenger explosion. You couldn't make this up if you tried. That's why I today am calling on the Brevard County Commissioners to stand with me in demanding the Senate Subcommittee on Space Science open a new investigation into the Challenger explosion. Because if this is all one big coincidence, no big deal. 
But if it's true, people watch what they believe were seven people blown up on live television, inflicting emotional and psychological trauma on millions of Americans. And we deserve to know why on earth something like that would be done. And like I was saying to Commissioner Pritchett and Commissioner Goodson, the only reason I'm back in here is because NASA ignored my last request and was completely unresponsive about the ISS discrepancies. I was blocked by their public affairs officer after one polite request. Commissioner Pritchett and Commissioner Goodson cover the area that contains the Kennedy Space Center. So I was just simply hoping that they would be able to help me in some way since it is their territory. I still thank them for their time and I wish I was able to finish my speech, but we finished outside and that's good enough. I hope we can get some transparency with NASA one way or another.